traders, Privateer FX here, the European team, doing the Asian shift. I'm actually in Chicago, seeing some people, and so I'll be taking care of the Asian shift today. We'll get right to it with the Aussie chart. We have Aussie employment tonight. As you see, we had a very big bullish Aussie day today. The Fed was dovish on the dollar. Aussie traded all the way up to 76.35. We have highs here at 50. So if we get a number adding more than 25,000 jobs in Australia tonight, we will be adding to our longs to 76.50. If the number comes in at 12,000 or less, we will be selling Aussie through 76 the figure. Why? Because once we broke the figure today, so 80 was really the real break on the US CPI. Then we did our sideways consolidation with the 98 low. So once we're back through 98, we're probably going to fill this into 80. So we'll be selling through 98 if the number comes in, say, below 12,000. Let's quickly move on to dollar yen. We had a very big day today in dollar yen. Uh, like all of the dollars, we got hit quite a bit. Um, so we had a softer than expected CPI and then a marginally dovish FOMC. So we started up at 113.20, traded all the way down to 112.46. Now we're retracing, see at 112.70. This is a sell on rally. Why is that? Look at the dailies. So we have this doji here and then a massive big red day. We're expecting new lows tomorrow through 50. What we're, what the strategy is, is basically you want to sell your dollars from right around here between 70 and 90 and then add to it through 50 tomorrow. And then just keep it core short dollar position, try and increase your average. We really think this is probably going to get down to 112 the figure. U.S. rates have gone quite a bit lower, uh, and this is obviously one of the big drivers in dollar yen. Let's quickly move over to Bitcoin, our new favorite friend. Pretty wild day today, as always, 10% range. High around 18,000. Low 15,740. We all know the CBOE is now trading the futures, so that's adding some more fun to all of this. What we're using, and as you can see here, we're just using this as a big sideways consolidation moment now. And the thing with Bitcoin is, and we're big fans of Bitcoin and we know the value of Bitcoin, but right now you're in a position where you can make money being long, but you can also make money being short. We're in a tactical trading phase for Bitcoin. Tactical trading phase. You're looking for short-term setups to go short, like this setup here today. Selling through this 16764 area, paid, as you can see. Once we broke, we went all the way down to 15700. That's a tactical trade. We don't think Bitcoin's going to go to zero. We don't really want to just be core long Bitcoin after this massive move up. We're looking for places to tactically get short, then square up, and then tactically get long. Like prices through 18,135, we're going to be long because then we feel like we're going to revisit the all-time highs, which are 1917. We're looking for trend lines. We're using moving averages. It's now tactical trading in Bitcoin. So what's going to happen tomorrow in Bitcoin? Looks like this level is going to come into play with 18,180 or 18,200 because we didn't really we didn't really like it down there at 15,7. So we'll be looking for some bullish action, but we'll be keeping an eye on the four hourly bars and the hourly bars. There isn't a super clear wonderful setup from here, but because of the 10% average true range every day. You have lots and lots and lots of opportunities to make money. So keep an eye on 18,180 
and also keep an eye down here at 15,712 because consolidation goes all the way down to 13,000 and then below 13,000 to 8,000 it's a long-term accumulation trade but between 13,000 and 20,000 it's tactical trading all right I think that's about it for the Asian Open let me just remind everyone and it's an incredibly busy day tomorrow we have the SNB policy monetary policy we have the Bank of England monetary policy we have the European Central Bank monetary policy we have European PMI we have UK retail sales and we have the Bank of Mexico central pol uh, policy uh, interest rate policy announcement so four central banks tomorrow plus retail sales plus PMIs out of Europe gonna be an incredibly busy day so keep your powder dry tonight get a good night's sleep or and get ready for a big wild day tomorrow good luck that's it for privateer FX talk to you guys later ciao